Hey guys, this is Austin. This is the new Surface Laptop. Is it worth it? So big shout out to Microsoft for hooking us up with this Surface Laptop early. Now this is not a sponsored video, but they're cool enough to let us take a look at it before it actually goes on sale. So this is the mid-spec model, but what I'm really curious to find out is what is a Surface Laptop like to use? So Microsoft has been making services for quite a while, but they've definitely never done a laptop quite like this. There's the Surface Pro, which is much more like a tablet, and there's the Surface Book, which is kind of a laptop, but it also is detachable and it's a little bit unwieldy, whereas this is a proper honest-to-goodness laptop. Did I just say honest-to-goodness? Inside, we get the power adapter. So what's cool about this one, and something that actually I think that more people should do, is it actually has a USB port on the adapter. So not only can you charge your Surface, but you also plug something like your phone in. This is the laptop itself. My first impression of the Surface laptop is that this feels like a really high-end piece of hardware. So unlike previous surfaces, which were made out of magnesium, this is all aluminum and it feels awesome. On top of that, when you look on the inside, you'll see that instead of having a metal sort of cover for the keyboard, it's actually lined in this Alcantara fabric finish. What this allows Microsoft to do is offer some really cool looking colors. So this is burgundy, and I've gotta say it looks like no other laptop I've ever tried. So on the inside, you still get that same Alcantara, but in the red, it really does pop. This Alcantara finish does feel nice, but I'm curious how it will hold up over a few months or years of use. I can definitely imagine with your palms sitting on the rest all the time, that maybe you could get a little bit stained or dirty. Now that's not a huge problem with the Surface Pro 4 keyboard, which of course you can just take off and replace with something else. Whereas with something like this, it's pretty much stuck on. I don't think there's any way of taking that no, it's definitely not coming off there. For comparison, I've been spending a lot of time with the LG Gram lately. Now this is a very lightweight laptop, which is nice, and that is definitely not the case with the Surface laptop. Now that's not exactly a huge downside. That extra heft actually does make this feel like a very premium product, but it also is going to weigh a little bit extra in your bag. One slight issue with the Surface hardware are the ports. So on the right side, all we have is the magnetic surface connector, which is mostly used for charging or dropping it on the dock. But on the other side, the only other ports we have are a headphone jack, mini display port, as well as USB 3. There's no USB-C, there's no Thunderbolt, and there's only that single USB port. It would be nice if there's a little bit more, especially on a high-end laptop like this. The big elephant in the room with the Surface Laptop, though, is Windows 10 S. So unlike the standard full version of Windows 10 that most laptops come with, this guy is running the S edition. Now what this means is that it cannot run any apps that are not from inside the Windows Store. However, say you want to download some third-party apps such as Google Chrome. Too bad it's not going to be in the store. To be fair, there are a fair few apps that are available in the store, such as Netflix, Facebook, and VLC, but the issue is, say you need to install some weird piece of hardware that needs a program to set it up. Well, that won't work on Windows 10 S. Unless that driver is going to automatically install once you plug the device in, you're out of luck. Now, I get the general idea of having Windows 10 S as an option. So say you're going to be buying a budget laptop, and to save a few bucks, they decided to use the S version instead of Windows 10. Same thing goes for, say, if you're a school and you want to make sure that the kids aren't installing random malware.exe. That's fine. That's great. However, this is a $1,300 laptop, and the idea that I can't even install Google Chrome on it is a big issue. The good news is you can upgrade the Surface Laptop to full Windows 10 Pro for free. The only problem is you can only do that until the end of the year. After that, it will cost you $50 to do. The good thing is the upgrade from 10s to Pro actually only took about like three minutes, and now we have the full copy of Windows on the laptop. Inside, the Surface Laptop has fairly standard specs. So this is the mid-tier version, which will run you $12.99, and for that, you get a seventh generation Core i5 processor, eight gigabytes of memory, as well as a 256 gig SSD. I feel like I'm going to keep making this comparison, but that is literally the exact same spec as you get with the LG Gram which coincidentally costs a couple hundred dollars less. This guy is rocking a 13.5 inch display with a weird resolution of 2256 by 1504. What that means is it actually is a really nice display. Not only is it sharp, it has really nice color, contrast, viewing angles, all the standard stuff, and to top it all off, it's a touchscreen. Hey guys, this is Austin. My voice might be gone, but what isn't is the MacBook Air. What also isn't are the speakers. This actually sounds pretty good. The keyboard also is pretty solid. So it does feel very similar to what you would find on the Surface Pro 4 type cover, but that's not really a bad thing. Now with a Windows 10 laptop, generally I want to use the touchscreen more than the trackpad, but as far as Windows trackpads go, I don't really have a lot to complain about at all here. All right, so we are up and running with Overwatch. Now this is definitely not a game PC, but you can play some lighter titles. And here we're running at 900p on low, and it is usable. However, luckily we have a professional MLG Overwatch player named Savage Kenny. The frame rate is, not ideal. I mean, we're we're hitting like frame rates that are definitely like usable, but if you're especially taking Overwatch very seriously, it, I find it really hard to 
like what, <laughs> what I'm getting out of this laptop. Oh my god. Once you upgrade Windows 10 S, the Surface laptop is a solid piece of hardware. However, the value is just a little bit hard to justify. Don't get me wrong, this is a terrific laptop, but for the price, you're definitely paying a little bit extra for that nice build quality and for that terrific screen. So, what do you guys think about the Surface laptop? Let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in the next one.